stuck, like we ran up on some rocks, bought them down, sitting here for you know, 10 minutes, and they finally were able to back us up off and get out. That was, that was crazy. Wow, well that was very exciting way to start the day. That's better than morning coffee. Yeah, we almost sank out there in lifeboat number 16. That bad boy is definitely gonna need some flex seal. Maybe even something stronger. I've actually never had any luck with that stuff, have you? Wow, this is a really pretty port, very nice. And look, you can finally see signs of fall. There's actual leaves on the ground. The leaves are beautiful, vibrant yellow color. Beautiful fall foliage in small portions right now. Right here, we have the Caribbean princess with us. Much larger ship than what we are on, the Norwegian Sky. But it is a buzzing port this morning. And I don't think I have to tell you, as you can see for yourself, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Probably, it's about 68 degrees right now. The sun is shining. There's absolutely not a cloud in the sky. And it's a beautiful day to get off the ship and be at port. So I'm bombed. There is a small boat cruise that will take you from here out to the fjords. But for some reason, you can only book it through the cruise line. Like normally, if this is we're off peak season. Peak season is summer. So since we're off peak season, the only boat available has been completely booked by the cruise line. Dang it, I thought we could just get off and, and book it right here. And if we were here like a week ago, we could have. Just an interesting observation. So we're here on a Sunday. There's lots of locals walking along the waterfront, taking in the great weather that we're having today. And you can tell the locals versus the cruise ship passengers by their language. We are in Quebec or Quebec, which is a French speaking province. And hearing so many people speaking French around you is just not something we're used to. You know, you think when you're in, in France, you're gonna hear that, but we're in Canada and this part of Canada is French speaking and it's just neat hearing a different language around you. The tide is super low right now and the Caribbean princess looks like it's actually sitting on the beach. I can't believe they even allow it to get that close. I mean, I'm a, maybe the tide went in while it was here, but it literally, I mean, it's like 50 feet from the beach. Right. That is insane. People are all walking out up to it almost. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. Looks like there's going to be a good bit to do here in this port. So when you get off, there is a tour center right there where you can get information about the port. We did get a map and just stuck it in our backpack because that's what we do. We just like to go explore for ourselves. But walking out, if you go left, there's a boardwalk that runs all along the river. There are, um, depending on the season, little small cruises that'll take you out to the fjords. And what's cool about the fjords here is this is the largest fjord in North America lower end so we're in you know right outside of quebec city and it's a 65 mile long fjord unfortunately we sailed in so early it was still dark and we didn't get to see it so when we got up we were already here right when the sun came up so it would have been really cool to get in one of those little boats and go out to the fjords but can't do it today because they're all full so we're just going to go walk the town and see what we can find okay here is our determination of this port <laughs> You come here for the fjords, which we can't see today, which is a real bummer. I really hate we couldn't get on that tour. There's not a lot to do here. We've walked kind of around the town. We're back into the port area. This is a beautiful area. Everyone from the ships is just enjoying the weather, you know, taking a nice stroll. That's cool. Uh, there's one restaurant slash microbrewery downtown. We're about to go. To. We're going to go have lunch there. We'll I saw you. one little shop area and that's it. There's our ship. There's our ship. So between us, 2,000 passengers, Caribbean Princess, about 3,000 passengers. There's 5,000 people in port today. I bet you the brewery is going to be packed. It will be because there's nothing <laughs> else to do here. Definitely a lot of locals out today coming and hanging out, looking out into the water, checking out all the ships, soaking up the sun on this beautiful fall day. Well, it just goes to show not every port is rainbows and rosies. <laughs> right. You know, it's real life, y'all. But hey, it's a beautiful day. It is that. We're on a cruise ship doesn't really suck that bad after all does it but sometimes you got ports that suck <laughs> like this one and sometimes you have some that are awesome 
That's cruising, y'all. That's the way it goes. But we are headed to the restaurant and brewery. But Saginaw, Saguenay, Sag Saguenay. Saguenay. I think I'm saying it right, but who knows? Whatever. It sucks. Of course, I went with the wings. I haven't had good, good wings in a while. And they're definitely nice and crispy fried, like super good fried. The hot sauce is definitely not traditional, but it's very good. It's sweet. Mm. Well, the chicken's cooked really good. And I was in the mood for wings, and it's kind of a welcome change. When in Canada, one must have poutines, right? Because this is something we don't get in the United States. So I'm excited to try them in different places. So we had some on Prince Edward Island, and now we're in Quebec. And I got the traditional poutine with pulled pork. So it's got big chunks of cheese curds, pulled pork, gravy over thin cut fries. Those are squeakier cheese curds than we had on Prince Edward Island. So the pulled pork is like a barbecue pulled pork. So you've got the barbecue flavor, the classic poutine gravy, the cheese curds, and I like how the, the fries are thin cut. That's good. We have followed the signs that have led us to a local craft market. So we're gonna go see what they've got over here. Stumbled up on a bunch of classic cars here. Nice little old historical classical automobile museum. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't think I have to whisper. I don't know, but <laughs> I think the cars are just taking my breath away. is setting as we leave today. I'm hoping we can see a little bit of the fjords as we miss them as we were coming in. I'm so jealous that Caribbean Princess left about an hour ago so they got a really good sail away through the fjords. I hope we get to see some of it before the sun goes completely down. Well unfortunately the sun's gone down a little too fast for us to see very much of the fjords. We can see some with our naked eye that the camera just won't pick up but we are getting a beautiful sunset. Did you say naked? I said naked eye. Oh. <laughs> but the sunset is absolutely beautiful sailing across this water with land on both sides of us. That's something you just don't see every day on a cruise ship. So we are enjoying this part of it and we're gonna stay out here until it's too dark for us to see anything else. Bistro for dinner tonight. This is the French specialty dining restaurant on all the Norwegian ships. You cannot come here without getting the French onion soup. Of course, on the menu, it's all in French, but I'm just going to call it French onion soup. That soup is consistently good. Doesn't matter what ship you're on, you come to Le Bistro and you get the French onion soup, and it's so good. The broth is flavorful. The bread that's been soaked in there is just perfection and that cheese I mean you saw how it just like comes up and oh so good love this stuff it's like food porn that beef consomme flavor all oh, that broth and the bread and the cheese together it just warms the soul you know what though where's the big chunks of onions I think they're down at the bottom yeah. the only thing is up. I would like to see big nice chunks of like sauteed onion in there mm. cooked down onion I like more of that in my onions <laughs> oh there's one piece see it <laughs> i got the roasted duck breast because how often do you find duck on the menu it's just not something you get very often so i was excited to give this a try looks very nice wow that meat has so much flavor Duck something I eat maybe once a year, and I forget how good it is. It's just, you know, you eat you eat chicken and you're used to, to chicken, and it's kind of light. Duck is rich and it's got a thick flavor to it. It's kind of gamey tasting. Mm -mm. So I got the cocoa vat 
which I can remember how to say the name because of the song Coco Cobana. Coco Cobana, but she got Coco Coco Cobana. No, Coco Coco Van. So it's just like basically it's a chicken that's um, cooked in a wine reduction. And it's really, it looks really delicious. Got some pearl onions. I think some mushrooms and bacon. Mm -hmm. and some carrots in there. Oh, mm, real rich. You can taste that that wine reduction sauce. Mm. I was just I'm beefed out. I wanted something different. I usually never order chicken, but I got chicken this time. And you know what? Pretty pretty good. I like the flavors of the chicken. Let's take one more bite. This piece looks a little dry, but we're gonna check it. <laughs> It's absolutely not dry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say this is probably one of the better meals we've had on the ship so far. The Coco Van was, was you know, it's about as exciting as you can make chicken, All right? The sauce was delicious. I enjoyed every bite of it. The little pearl onions, you gotta be careful with those. You gotta <laughs> stab them just right. If you don't, the thing will shoot off on you. Um, but it was really good. The French onion soup was good, and I really liked the scallops. I just wish there was more of them. Yeah, there were really, like three scallops. And they're super small, but all in all, a great meal. You know, I enjoyed it. The atmosphere is nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, really cool. Good experience. Now it's time for dessert. Yep, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna opt out. I'm <laughs> drinking my uh, bougie sparkling water. <laughs> All I read on this dessert was airy meringue pillow, and I said that's what I want. I don't know what it's floating in, but it's really good. And then it's got like burnt sugar on the top of it. Oh my gosh. That's different. So there are so many con conflicting flavors in there. You've got this like creamy pudding. You have the meringue, which is like a, like a hard marshmallow. Then you've got the burnt sugar on top. And then there's this really almost bitter raspberry sauce in the middle. So when all those flavors hit your mouth at the same time, you're like, what just happened? Is it bad? No. Is it good? No. It's weird, but I'm like, strangely want to keep eating it. Intrigued I'm intrigued. So Jason says I have to review his dessert as well. This looks really good. So the lady across, that was sitting across from us ordered this and I'm like, mm, that looks yummy. With those I heard fresh, her say it was delicious. And she did. So it's strawberries with cream around a pistachio sponge cake. That sounds good. That's light and fluffy. And the, the sponge cake is very subtle. It's not an overpowering flavor at all. So you taste the strawberries more than anything. That's really good.